Welcome back to KSM News at 4. When you think of Tornado Alley, Kansas or Nebraska might come to mind. But tornadoes are becoming more common in the southeastern part of the country. Meteorologist Jack Boston has a closer look at where they're popping up. As we approach spring, the threat for tornadoes ramps up. The United States experiences the greatest number of twisters in the world. Destructive tornadoes have hit Kansas, causing loss of life and property. Chris Darden, meteorologist in charge at the Birmingham National Weather Service, has seen an increase in tornadoes over the southeast part of the country. Starting with Super tu the Super Tuesday outbreak in 2008, um, we've kind of been in a, a decade and a half period of of increased activity um, and actually looking at the, the 10 and 20 year averages, um, they've been going up steadily uh, in, the, in the last uh, couple of decades. Through the middle 1980s, the classic tornado alley ran through the central part of the country from Texas all the way north through the Dakotas. Since then, the greatest concentration has made a noticeable shift into parts of the lower Mississippi Valley and also the Tennessee River Valleys. In addition, we have two more tornado alleys, Hoosier Alley up in parts of Indiana and Ohio and also Carolina Alley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots faster. Our 10-year average now is up to 64. Um, the 30-year average is kind of the lower 50. So you see, you know, the numbers are certainly increasing in the last 10 years. Um, and actually the last three to four years. Why is this happening? Persistent drought over portions of the plains are to blame. This shifted the path of warm, moist air farther east. Following three La Nina winters, the pattern flipped to a strong El Nino. One effect, the drought moving east into the lower Mississippi Valley. With the drought improving in Texas, the drought is getting worse over the lower Mississippi Valley. This could mean a westward shift in tornadoes closer to Kansas this spring. Here for you, Storm Track 3 meteorologist Jack Boston. 